Hi there, this story's title is Popo's Lucky Chinese New Year Written by Virginia Lohagan Illustrated by Rene Benoit Don't forget to like, share and subscribe People spend 15 days preparing and then 15 days celebrating Chinese New Year Chinese New Year is like Thanksgiving, Christmas and New Year's Day all bundled together. Popo came all the way from China to celebrate with us in America. She says Chinese New Year is a time for new beginnings. Making sure we have a lucky New Year is serious business. Popo is here to help me. Swish, swish. Popo says I need to sweep out the bad luck before the new year comes. I sweep the dirt towards the middle. I carry it out the back door. I also sweep out my crying baby brother. Popo says I'm naughty. So I sweep him back in and rub his big Buddha belly. Do not carry dirt out the front door because that means a family member will leave. Spray, spray. I make sure my window is super clean. Popo says the windows need to be spotless. Good fortune needs to flow in. I'll finish tomorrow. Popo says, You can't clean on New Year's Day. You'll wipe out good luck. Popo has a lot of funny rules about luck. I want to be lucky, but following her do's and don'ts is hard work. Do open the windows and doors at midnight to allow the old year to leave. Drip drop, Popo gets my bath ready. She reminds me to wash my hair. I'll wash it tomorrow. Popo says, Your good luck will wash down the drain along with the soapy water. I want good luck. I wash my hair three times. Popo tells me to finish washing my baby brother's hair. But I only wash him one time. I also don't use as much shampoo for him. I'm older so I need more luck. Do not wash your hair at New Year's Day. Do cook and eat lucky foods. Sizzle, sizzle. Popo makes a whole chicken so that our family will stay together. She prepares a fish with a head and tail still on so we'll have a good beginning and a good ending. It will also help make our wishes come true. I cross my fingers. This adds extra American luck. The last dish Popo makes is noodles. I want to break my noodles in half. Popo says, Noodles should be long and unbroken, like life. I eat two bowlfuls of my long noodles. I eat my baby brother's noodles too. I want to live forever. Do hang red and gold banners and paper cuts to ensure a flow of good luck and to invite in good spirits. Snip, snip. Red paper and gold ribbon surround me. I'm busy making and pasting Chinese paper cuts. Popo bought a special sign from Chinatown that says Fu. It's the Chinese word for luck. She puts this on our door. She says, I'm going to hang this upside down. The Chinese words for upside down sound like arrive. So this means luck has arrived. Sip, sip. I drink green tea so I can Stay awake past midnight. No sleeping for me. Popo says I have to 
वेलकम द न्यू ईयर द साउंड ऑफ द वर्ड स्लीप इन चाइनीज इज लाइक द वर्ड फॉर ट्रबल वी डोंट वॉन्ट एनी ट्रबल इन द न्यू ईयर आई वॉच पोपो एंड मामा प्ले माँ जोंग विथ फ्रेंड्स क्लिक क्लिक द लिटल ब्लॉक्स मूव क्विकली Even my baby brother stays up. Do not sleep on New Year's Eve. Your parents will live longer lives. It's finally here. It's Chinese New Year's Day. Ganghe fat choy. Happy Chinese New Year. I make a ruckus running around the house. Popo says the first person you meet today and the first words you hear are important to your fortune in the new year i want to be the first person my baby brother sees today i whisper in his ear fu and he cools fu back do not greet people in their bedrooms it's unlucky i bring him to the living room Where Popo makes food offerings to her ancestors. On Chinese New Year's Day, Popo says, "I can't say any bad words or think bad things. I push bad thoughts out of my head, but it's really hard work, especially when my baby brother is around. I do not call him bad names, even when he pulls my hair." This is the hardest rule to follow. Do not cut away your good thoughts. Do not use knives or scissors on this day. Do wear red. It scares away bad spirits and monsters. I wear my new red Chongsam. My baby brother wears his new red Changshan. Popo says These are traditional Chinese clothes. She says children should have new clothes and new shoes for the new year. She also says we should wear red. Red will keep bad luck away. It's the color of fire. Popo strings red ribbons in my braids. She puts a Chinese red hat on my baby brother i wear his hat when popo isn't looking i fill a small plate with four almond cookies popo adds four more four is unlucky but eight is lucky she counts everything she adds or subtracts to avoid the number 4 My baby brother has four teeth. I draw an extra tooth for him and tape it to his mouth. Popo says evil spirits will make an exception for baby teeth. I tape it to his diaper just in case. Do not use the number 4. In the Chinese language, the character for 4 sounds like the character for death. Do make loud noises. The firecrackers, dragon dances, and gongs scare away the evil spirits. Pow pow! I throw tiny firecracking snaps on our front doorstep to keep out the evil spirits. Pow pow! At the parade at Chinatown. I help the dragons chase away evil spirits. I throw the loud snaps at their feet. Popo says only big girls can do this. My baby brother has to wait until he's older. I throw extra snaps for him. Dojia, dojia. Thank you. Popo and I hand out oranges to family and friends we are giving them happiness and wealth i eat a couple because i want to be happy and rich i eat more because i want to be 
super happy and super rich. Popo tells me to give oranges to Mama and Baba. I use my brand new red marker to write them a card. Popo almost has a heart attack. No red ink. I thought red was lucky. Popo says, "Writing in red ink means you want that person to go away." I think about writing a card to my baby brother in red ink. He spilled his lunch all over my chong sam. I take it back. No bad thoughts. Do keep the leaves and stems on fruits and give those to married people. It means they will have a long marriage. Chaching. My favorite part of Chinese New Year is getting the Lai Si. These are lucky red envelopes. Popo says, Mama and Baba have to give Lai Si to little children. unmarried family members and their own parents lai si have crisp brand new dollar bills inside i'm glad i'm not a grown up because i don't have to give away any lai si from all my relatives i have a mountain of red envelopes popo says i have to put them under my pillow so i won't have bad dreams yawn Zzz. finally the house is quiet a lucky new year is hard work i put two red envelopes next to my baby brother's head i whispered to him you're lucky to have me do give children two life see because popo says Happiness comes in pairs. D N. Thanks for watching. For more exciting read aloud stories, please subscribe to our channel Little Heart Super Kids. Also follow us on Instagram for amazing updates.